Let's take a look at uh, the NSC's performance yesterday, what you've made of it and the kind of expectations you have for the trading day ahead. Well, Alicia, we seem to have been experiencing a bit of a Santa rally here and, you know, been picking up uh, at least about the last week or so. Uh, my, my, my guess is, you know, you could probably see this continue going into next week. But I think generally the market had expected uh, to see some profit taking as we're nearing the end of the year. You know, as portfolio managers should ordinarily look to uh, to basically take some, some profit off the table. But, you know, if you look at, you know, the level of liquidity that we're seeing in the market at the moment, driven by... Uh, you know, the level of quantitative easing in developed markets, you know, I think that, you know, the, the, this, this level of, of rally or continued market strengthening could, uh, could probably, be, be, probably be sustained. Um, valuations, we think, particularly in the consumer sector, are quite rich at the moment. Uh, there's still opportunities, I think, within banks, uh, construction, cement companies. Uh, but, you know, I think at the end of the day, liquidity will probably play a much stronger role than, uh, than fundamentals here. For now, we've got the market's performance and that positive performance being sustained by the breweries, as I mentioned earlier. I mean, Nigerian breweries picking up close enough to 6% in yesterday's session and many saying that they're expecting the trend to continue in today's trading session. Your expectations uh, around Nigerian breweries' performance moving forward, Eseli? Yeah, like I said, you know, liquidity here is the biggest driver, and you could probably see this this trend sustained. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying it's it, it's probably the case, but uh, you've obviously got you know quite a number of investors who are playing you know to the herd, and you know there are also some funds who are strategically positioned for events like this, so momentum funds, for example, who will probably buy high to sell higher. So, but fundamentally, uh, is, I mean, you know, what's the basic. investment case that Nigerian breweries is putting on the table right now? Yes, there's growth. Uh, probably not in 2012 because uh, the company is currently, you know, uh, laden with with debt, and you know we've seen a substantial increase in its uh, interest interest uh, expense. Uh, but going into 2013, 14, we, we do expect growth. The company has recently increased substantially increased its capacity, and we've seen a lot of volume growth coming through that. Uh, but again, uh, I think that that uh, that has been, you know, it's 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 it's. The valuation at the moment is too rich. You know, Nigerian breweries is trading about 27 times its 2013 earnings. It's one year forward earnings. Uh, that compares to emerging market uh, brewers trading about 19 times. That's over 40% uh, premium. Uh, so I do expect a correction at some point over the next 12 months. But in the meantime, uh, liquidity events, I think, will continue to provide support for the stock.